Raquan Davis is back, and that's really good news for the Colts because they need him. He's a great depth piece on that defensive line, and you get the feeling that from an energy standpoint, he brings it for these Colts. We got a chance to talk to him about coming back and whether he's going to be able to play sooner rather than later. Be back in this environment with them boys, you know, just to be back out here working with them. It was a tough one today. <laughs> a little rusty, but I'm getting there. Raekwon, have you ever been through anything like that? And can you can you kind of explain like what it was like to work your way back? Oh, uh, I mean, it wasn't no, it wasn't no big deal, man. I'm so I'm so grateful for the, you know, for uh, EB them and Hammer and Kyle, just to, you know, what I'm saying catch that type of problem. So we've been saying so much, you know, with high blood pressure, with heart attacks and, and things like that. So it's it's a it's a great thing they caught that. I mean, it was it was a it was a house for this to get back, but I mean, I'm back, you know, trying to work my way up. Trying to work my way back in shape, you know, stay in the playbook, you know, just do everything I can do. How did they find out? Did they just test you or did you feel some type of way? Uh, it's just, you know, like, you know, uh, when you come to camp, you know that, uh, you know, the first little, like the physical, you know, that's when they, they saw it and uh, run a test, and, you know, and ran into that problem. And you hadn't dealt with anything like this before? Was this a surprise to you? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, kind of in a way, but, you know, I'm back and, you know, just trying to make my way up. How did this, kind of, sorry about that. How this kind of thing test your patience? I mean, you get to a new team and all of a sudden you're waiting, like, weeks on end. Like, how did, how did you kind of handle with that you know, emotionally? I mean, it was good. It was, I mean, I had my up and down. I can't just be like, it wasn't like a, uh, like a problem. I can't see it act like it wasn't a big deal. But, I mean, I, I handled it well, you know. I just stayed patient, you know. I worked out. You know, do what you know, do what Hammer them said to do, and uh, just get my way back out here. What did the uh, D line do? Like, embrace you back out to the I mean, it was. Hey, I was still in means now, so it wasn't. I wasn't missing everything. I was still around during walkthrough. You know, I just wasn't capable to be on the field. That was it. No, I mean, like, did they give you any like, okay, you finally out here working with us? Like, oh man, know? yeah, they was Grove. You know, Talu. You know, Ben. You know, Ben Grove. You know, they, they was excited, you know, to have me back out here, man. I've been gone for a little minute, and uh, just seeing my first day come back, you know, they happy for me. Do you need time before you can play, or can you get out there? Hell no, I'm ready. ready to go? Hell okay. yeah, I'm ready to go. Right. How, how, important, how important is having Joy practice in another preseason game for getting you back as you work your way back? It's a, it's a great opportunity, you know, to come out here, you know, just to, before even the season comes, just, just to work on that technique. I mean, them guys got me better, the reps I had today. It was fun, just working my way back. We're gonna we're gonna dominate. Ain't no we, we can do. We're gonna we're gonna dominate. We're gonna for sure dominate. That's Raquan Davis, and I like hearing him talk about dominating because that defensive line needs to do exactly that. They got to dominate play up front because the back end of that defense, no matter what anybody says, that is going to be a work in progress. And I'm being kind.